going on, everybody? Dan Unfiltered here, checking out Joker, the final trailer, which is mind-boggling because it's only the second trailer. They had a teaser and a final, and that is fantastic. That's what they used to do back then in the 80s, before that, in like early 90s-ish, where you got teaser and a final. You didn't get the five, six different versions, one during the Super Bowl, one during a, a Pepsi ad later. You get two. And you eat it, you take it, and you eat it. It, it doesn't spoil the movie. I'm amped. I love it. I love the idea. This is directed by Todd Phillips. Some people are worried about that. He directed the Hangover movies and Due Date. These are comedies, obviously. But at the same time, they... They were different comedies. Like, uh, Hangover was nominated for a Golden Globe for Best Picture. So, they actually are kind of raw. They have their raw moments. Due Date had, like, a couple tear-jerking moments. So, I'm not too worried here. I think he can really... I'm, I'm hoping he can really nail this. <sighs> Come on. And Joaquin Phoenix, when does he do something bad? Like, it, seriously. Who doesn't love the Joker? Can you please stop bothering my kid? What? Arthur, I have some bad news for you. This is the last time we'll be meeting. You don't listen, do you? You just ask the same questions every week. How's your job? Are you having any negative thoughts? All I have are negative thoughts. And finally, in a world where everyone thinks they can do my job, check out this guy. When I was a little boy and told people I was going to be a comedian, everyone laughed at me. Well, no one's laughing now. You can say that again, pal. Oh, man. That hurt. It's so awful, isn't it? For my whole life, I didn't know if I even really existed. small thing yeah when you bring me out can you introduce me as joker good lord let's be honest that was fantastic man i hope this movie doesn't disappoint because that that trailer was was phenomenal one thing i will say that i would almost bet half my house on half half my house on joaquin phoenix is going to get nominated for an oscar you can just kind of tell that's going to happen it's going to happen uh will he win who knows but is he going to get nominated? Yeah. You can already just see it's there for him. The material's there for him. The writing's there for him. The directing looks, the cinematography looks like an Oscar performance. It's there for him. And please, if you guys are expecting, I know it says DC at the bottom. This, this is not a comic book movie 
Don't bring kids. Don't ruin my experience when I go there. Please, God. When I get sitting there, I don't want to hear kids crying and bitching because there's no Batman. That's just, I'm just getting out of the way. Man. But this looks really good. It looks so good. And uh, Rob De Niro is in it. And he looks like he's playing almost the same character as his King of Comedy, Martin Scorsese movie from, I think, the 80s or early 90s. And it's just he's not the crazy one this time. Phoenix is. I like it. It's good. It's really good. And the matte, the face paint, I like that it's... It feels like it's leading almost directly into where Heath Ledger Dark Knight started. You know what I mean? But I don't know if it is. We don't know because... Frankly, they say it's not connected, so technically the Joker himself could die at the end of this. No idea. We just don't know. Like, we really don't. I I'm assuming he won't for obvious story reasons. People would lose their shit. But this thing is not connected to the DC Universe at all, so who the fuck knows? Who knows? I wish, I'm hoping that this movie does well enough in the box office that they end up connecting it to the the standalone Batman movie that comes out, I think, next year or the year after. I'm hoping they connect it and they keep Joaquin Phoenix as the Joker for that movie or that franchise because I'm tired of changing Jokers. And also, please, don't... if you, You're allowed to compare the Jokers, but... Just because you prefer Nicholson or Ledger or Leto, don't let that hurt Joaquin Phoenix. And vice versa. If you think Phoenix is better than the other ones, cool. But don't let it don't let it bring the other ones down. You know what I mean? A lot of people do that with Jared Leto. They shit all over Jared Leto because he wasn't Heath Ledger. You know what I mean? It's like, no, he wasn't an amazing Joker, but it wasn't technically his fault. They made him... Uh, he looked like himself, a tatted up version of himself from Dallas Buyers Club. That was a mistake. He should have kept the eyebrows and probably grown out some hair. Because he looked like Jared Lowe from Dallas Buyers Club. He really didn't. It was kind of off-putting. But, nonetheless, that's not, <laughs> that's not the point. Joker, man. I'm excited. This is by far... Yes, no. This is by far my most anticipated movie of the rest of 2019. Star Wars? It's close. It's close. But I gotta check out this last trailer. The D23 tra trailer. <sighs> I'm hearing some things about it. I gotta check it out for myself. Hopefully, hopefully it doesn't piss me off. Sometimes when you really like something, you almost just don't want people to fuck it up. But I'm going to get into that in the next video. Appreciate all of you for waiting and being patient with this channel. I've just been really busy. I apologize. That is coming to an end. You're about to get just blown up with movie shit. <sighs> yeah, I can't even tell you. It's going to be a lot. Older movies, movies from this year, all the stuff. I didn't get a chance to tell you, the fans and the camera. Frankly, I just watched Ma a couple days ago. I got yeah, there's, I got a lot to talk about there. But anyway, let's get I'm getting that next time. Everybody, thank you very much for subscribing. If you're new, please subscribe. Hit like; it helps the channel. And if you're still here, you are a real one.